Dwarf Fortress isn't hard. It is very complex and confusing, it's just not hard. When I first started Dwarf Fortress without any kind of primer, I got incredibly overwhelmed. In Dwarf Fortress, nothing is easy to understand right out of the box. The game itself is really hard to read. The entire display is just letters and symbols, which isn't terribly easy to understand without some... learning. So I spent some time learning how to play Dwarf Fortress. Here's how it went. Before I started, I needed to ask myself a simple question. What is my goal? Dwarf Fortress has no goals built into the game, so I needed to set my own. You know, in case I started having too much fun. I went easy on myself and decided I needed to survive one year and build a moderately sized fortress. I started this whole endeavor wanting to learn by doing, trial by fire. So I downloaded Dwarf Fortress and just started it up. No starter pack, no tile sets, no help. This went... well, it didn't go well. I started by creating a world that the game just couldn't parse. It took me a while to realize this, and I spent a lot of time waiting. A series, a series. Once I broached 170 rejected worlds, I decided I should probably adjust and try again. I made some adjustments to my world creation parameters, ones I thought were, let's say, kinder, and started creating a new world. This configuration worked, but still took a little time to run. You need somewhere to Once the world was created, it also took a little while to start a new game. Oh, to... And there it is. Now I'm in. But what is any of this? The smiley faces are dwarves, apparently, but what are these little O's? And where are my animals? What does designating mean? And what do I need to build? Okay, so I guess we try the help menu now? But what is any of this? I don't know how this is supposed to help. Needless to say, I didn't get very far on the first and second tries. I just got... <laughs> I just got confused and frustrated. It was clear by this point I was going to need some help, so I went to my good friend and asked for advice. I turned to the Dwarf Fortress wiki where I found a quick start guide. This is the tutorial I wound up relying on. I used their recommendations for world creation which went much faster, and this time I watched the world being created, which is actually pretty cool. I then started a new game again using the recommended settings for finding a region to populate. Things went well. I followed their instructions and had a pretty good fortress going, and when I reached the beyond a minimal fortress section, I decided to diverge from their path. However, it was also at this point that I had a set of four migrants show up, and I realized how difficult it is to assign jobs in game. The guide suggested dwarf therapist, which didn't work for the version I downloaded. Oh fuck. This time I decided to use the starter pack, which was clearly the right option. I created a list of the elements that the Dwarf Fortress wiki identified as necessary for a minimal fortress. I started work from there. Everything was so much easier. Seriously. Use Dwarf Therapist. During my playthrough this time around, I had two sets of migrants show up, bringing my total population to around 11. I made a pretty expansive three-level fortress, including a workshop level, a residential area, and a main level, including a trader depot. This attempt was far from perfect, I wish I'd laid things better out for my residential area to accommodate for more bedrooms, and I didn't know I needed a metalsmith for ammunition. I also had no idea what I was doing when establishing deals with traders, or why some of my grazing animals randomly died of starvation. However, after a year it was pretty clear that I could expand this fortress quite comfortably. Many elements of this game make it difficult to understand. The entire display by default is just ASCII characters. Its menus are huge, complex, and inconsistent, meaning they're really hard to navigate. Actions are named ambiguously. For example, why is mining a designation, but you designate a bedroom by querying a bed? Error messages, when they do appear, are ambiguous at best. And for most games, you could point to these as communication failures. In Dwarf Fortress, however, they add to the charm. Or maybe just the fun of the experience? Almost everything about this game is inscrutable, and I think that's because the game wants you to be confused. Perhaps this was a conscious decision on the part of Tarn and Zach Adams, or 
Toady 1 and 3 Toe respectively, in an effort to get you more invested in the Dwarf Fortress ambiance. Or perhaps they recognized that a fantasy world simulator had to be incredibly complex, so they just leaned into it. Needless to say, while the learning curve can be a bit frustrating, once I understood it, the game had me in its grasp. Bay 12 Games claims that losing is fun in Dwarf Fortress, and while I don't feel as though I've lost at this point, or at least during my playtime so far, I do get what they mean. With each failure comes knowledge, and with more knowledge, the more you appreciate the depth of the game. Often things fail because reasons, and Dwarf Fortress doesn't give you much else to go on. The reason isn't explicit, but you are forced to adapt anyway, at which point you either troubleshoot or you hope it doesn't happen again. And the best part is that if your fortress fails, you're not forgotten. Your failure is remembered in the history books of a realm you discovered and which is unique to your personal experience of Dwarf Fortress. That is one of the most beautiful things about this game. Dwarf Fortress generates so much about your universe before you even start playing. History, legends, geology, cartography, songs, poems, dwarven personalities. That means that when you play Dwarf Fortress, you aren't just playing a game. You're contributing to lore. You aren't just winning or losing your game. You're creating a new part of this universe's history. The Wikipedia article for Dwarf Fortress states, As there is no way to win, every fortress, no matter how successful, is usually destroyed somehow. Failure is inevitable. You can't control much in Dwarf Fortress, and you certainly can't control when death will befall you. And it will befall you. Just play the game, do your best, and enjoy the journey. The most rewarding part of Dwarf Fortress, as best as I can tell, is the story you create. Okay, so if you would like a little bit of advice on how to get started, I am no expert. I'm not even really well versed in play. I think I'm about 10 or 12 hours in, but I have three main pieces of advice. First of all, use the starter pack, if for no other reason than using Dwarf Therapist. You can also change configuration files pretty easily using this, but seriously, use Dwarf Therapist. The assigning of jobs might become easier in future versions of this game, but for now, Dwarf Therapist is the best way to go. Second, use a tutorial. This game is not easily accessible, and you'll have a better time if someone helps you. I'll provide links to the tutorials I used as well as some other resources down in the description. Number three, don't get discouraged. Try and try and try and try and try until it clicks. Once that happens, Dwarf Fortress gets so fun. Oh, fuck. This is one downside. To do things this way. Ugh.